Hi Gemini, welcome to your reading. And this is for Gemini Ascendant. Sun Moon Rising and Venus Placement in their chart. Jupiter may resonate with the reading. So I will just spread this and right off the bat. Um, your first card is the Four of Pentacles. So Gemini, as I can see here, it's either you or your person is holding back from something. Is it an emotion? Is it an event? Holding back from believing that you are a twin flame connection. Holding back from believing, or probably this is you, holding back from saying or telling your person what kind of connection, right? Um, this is to your person, right? Because there are things here, let's say, that, you, that you're probably afraid that your person is not going to, let's say, accept you know the idea of it probably this also because of the taboo right religion wise ethnicity wise you know probably let's say an hesita uh, a hesitation that you might be rejected this idea might be rejected even though that there is a huge amount of love from your person you are still keeping it to yourself for a few numbers of you, I can sense here that probably your person also has the idea. Take it as you will, okay? Uh, your person has the idea what kind of connection this is. Probably it's the reverse, right? Your person do not want to tell you um, that this is a twin flame connection. Also, there are, I can sense that there are uncertainty with the person, you know, um, I can still see here that they are not stopping from giving this huge amount of love uh, from the person. Well, I know that there is some sort of um, juggling, right? I can sense a the reason being why the person, whoever this is, is could, it could be you, it could be the cross watchers. It is because that there might be some misunderstanding, right? Um, there might be some things that you don't agree um, and you're losing hope. Let's say there are separations, right? Separations might, might be in a uh, physical form, right? Your person might be in a different city, state, county, or con um, continent, or in a long distance relationship. Um, you are reserving the information uh, for those singles, I can sense here that you, there's no doubt that you truly love the person um, so much. But of course, you are afraid to divulge the information, right? Um, or probably you don't want to scare your person. They might think that you are too clingy. You might think that they are, let's say, you might scare them away. Right. For those who are in a relationship, there is still some sort of is the question right to yourself. Is this really it? Is my person really the person for me? Um, a person destined for me? Right? Because if that's so, why we are encountering this kind of um, challenges? Right? Um, let's check here with a handman so for a few numbers of you this is more of a self-doubt because what you truly want is to complete the cycle right of the connection or to give to to obtain the highest form of the abundance which is serious commitment which is um let's say like a concrete foundation right cohabitation proposal but you are doubting right is this really person who's going to give me this right because i am not seeing that my person is executing the characteristic of a twin flame or a person that's destined for me but little do you know i can see here with the ace of swords which is a victorious beginning uh, a victorious beginning between you and your person right you may not believe it but I can see here yeah there's a lot of questions you're 
um, decision making is being clouded because of the experiences for those who are in a relationship I can sense here um, either you are questioning yourself questioning your person's um, intentions right but just so you know that everything is going to a calmer water whatever it is that you are experiencing with your person um, I think that this is part of the journey towards the completion of your union with your twin flame for those of you who are uh, new to this channel you might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online wherein I am doing a live streaming and in the live stream you can ask me questions if you missed the live streaming you can still ask me questions there's a link in the description box click that link you'll be routed to my page type in your questions and then click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading so gems if you also want to know your lucky numbers and lucky color then follow me on instagram if you also want to know your financial forecast for the month of june follow me on instagram as well it's in the description box if you are into twin flame readings almost personal readings pick a card and channel messages then subscribe to the other channel timeless the row 111 and if you resonate with the reading congratulations if you do not resonate with the reading you can come back to the reading after a week or two time is fluid if you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading still congratulations for i am doing a collective reading so let's clarify this four of pentacles well i can sense here that things are moving to a calmer water and i can see here a bright future with you and your person you may not believe it with the moon card i can sense also that your person is going to give you the queen of wands which is the happiness your person might be a little bossy also but it doesn't mean that they didn't um they cannot give you the commitment with the ten of swords you know what just wait for your ship to come in wait for your turn wait for the divine timing um, I know that you are hurting right now. Um, there's a lot of clouds. Like what I said, question it is because you cannot experience what you truly wanted in this connection. There's really a lot of questions. So you're doubting. There's a lot of doubts um, with you because you are not achieving the completion of your union, right? With the moon card here, I can sense that your person is depriving you of the, let's say, the abundance but I can really see that everything is going to a calmer water. So you might be connecting here with the same sign, Gemini or has a Gemini placement in their chart. Or you have a Gemini placement in your chart. Um, Leo or has a Leo placement in their chart. Or you have a Leo placement in your chart. Scorpio or has a Scorpio placement in their chart. Or you have Scorpio placement in your chart. A strong Pisces here or has a Pisces placement in their chart or you have a Pisces placement in your chart or a Taurus or has a Taurus placement in their chart or you have a Taurus placement in your chart which only makes sense because right after Gemini I uh, right after Taurus is Gemini you might be a cusp so this is your reading if you want to book a personal reading with me there is a link in the description box if you have a question or two there is also a link in the description box click that link you'll be routed to my page type in your questions click submit 500 likes for this video and your next video will be a full reading thank you so much for watching love and light to you namaste see you on the next reading goodbye gems